Heroes Die is the first book in the um, Acts of Cain series. There are four of them all together. The, the second is uh, The Blade of Tai Shao. Uh, the third is Cain Black Knife. And the fourth and most recent, uh, published within the last year, uh, is Cain's Law. And they're all terrific. Heroes Die, the first of the series, sets up the premise, uh, which is really quite amazing because it's the perfect hybrid of science fiction and fantasy. Um, it's, it's up uh, this, this narration, this, this audiobook version, uh, is up for an Audi Award in the fantasy category, which is, in a way, almost not giving the book its due, because it's not just fantasy. It's actually science fiction moving into fantasy. Heroes Die is um, it's the kind of book that I, as a narrator, wait for with bated breath. And when one comes in like this, I pounce on it. Fabulous, fabulous book, rich in uh, everything. Intense action, battle scenes, magic and real, both of them. Real solid um, relationships, characters that fully breathe, um, that have relationships that are genuine and then also mythical, that rise to a whole other dimension. Uh, this is an actor's joy and narration is acting in case anybody forgets it. The relationships between characters uh, in Heroes Die, uh, they change, they morph, they transform, they grow, they develop the way real relationships do. Uh, these aren't uh, paper cut out characters, these are real people who are trying to work out their relationships with each other. Matthew Stover is brilliant at creating new alien languages to the point where I found I could, at first look, fully pronounce a dialogue section in one of these alien languages, letter perfect. It made sense, somehow. We, all in all, these uh, Acts of Cain books, uh, and Heroes Die especially, are um, among the most exciting books I've ever come across. Not just as a narrator, just as, a, as an avid reader of uh, these genres. They're amazing, and uh, I just hope he keeps writing them. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it.